AI female humanoid robot price finally revealed. The electric car company Tesla is getting set to launch its line of robots. Tethers are frequently employed by robotics engineers as a mean of providing support for their creations. As most robots cannot walk unaided without the risk of falling and injuring themselves. But can the Tesla robot walk? Well, to find out, hang around until the end of the video. Recently, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, provided the first public display of the company's robot, which is referred to as the Tesla Bot. The robot, which was known by the code name Optimus, carried on a performance that consisted of a sluggish dance in which it walked across the stage while simultaneously pumping its arms and waving them in the air. It was known as the Optimus Slow Dance when the performance was given. Elon Musk has claimed that the objective of Tesla is to develop a humanoid robot robot that is capable of functioning as quickly as is practically possible. Musk has been quoted as saying that this is Tesla's goal. On the other hand, Tesla plans to deploy it shortly in its assembly plants, which are the location where Tesla constructs its vehicles. Tesla will use it there in the short term, despite the possibility that it will be of service to millions of people in the long run. Other companies have also developed humanoid robots such as Boston Dynamics Atlas, which can deftly navigate a parker course while simultaneously performing jumps and backflips. Several other firms have also manufactured humanoid robots. On the other hand, the robot that Boston Dynamics produced was significantly more remarkable than the creation that Elon Musk made. During the presentation, Elon Musk asserts that the robot's capabilities extend significantly further than demonstrated. Musk remarked during a gathering that was built on Tesla AI Day. The demonstration of the robot and the technology the business has developed for autonomous vehicles is known as full self-driving, or FSD for short, which was the event's primary objective. During this occasion, Musk delivered his statement. Musk's long-term objective is to produce millions of Tesla bots. Thus, the firm may reap the benefits of the hardware, software, manufacturing, and supply chain advantages it has built up for its car's business. It would also allow Musk to fulfill his vision for the company's future. Despite its success as manufacturer, Tesla still needs to catch up on several missed deadlines. However, the company is driving the industry toward a future in which electric vehicles will predominate. The Optimus project may be young, but it is already among the most ambitious robotics endeavors underway. However, the project is still in the process of being developed. Even if it's just a prototype for now, this holds. Because Tesla anticipated a period when robots would be substantially more ubiquitous and advanced than they are now. This is the case. However, making a progress is a complex procedure. Competitors such as Boston Dynamics have spent years developing humanoid robots. However, they have only created prototypes up until now. There is a growing prevalence of robots with relatively limited capabilities, such as wheel delivery bots or Amazon's Astra, a home tablet paired with a camera that travels independently. Both of these examples are examples of the type of robots that are becoming increasingly common. These kinds of robots are beginning to appear in more and more everyday settings. Although artificial intelligence is most beneficial when applied to particular tasks, the technology behind Tesla's automobile piloting and robotics must take into the account the vast amount of variance that exists in the real world. Optimus may spend most of his formative years in an environment not too dissimilar to that. It is anticipated that the first places in which this technology will be utilized will be in the manufacturing facilities that are owned and operated by Tesla. Have you thought about how much money you will need to buy the robot? If you want to find out, just keep watching the video to the end. Musk demonstrated not one, but two different robots in his presentation. The initial model, a walking version, was constructed using mechanical actuators readily available for purchase in any electronics or hobby store. These actuators may be found on store shelves. The motor, gearing, and sensors for each cylinder-shaped device 
are all housed in a single, compact enclosure for your convenience. The second model was enabled to walk since Tesla's actuators had been utilized to control the movement of the second model's limbs and fingers. As a result, the model had to be hauled out on stage to demonstrate its capabilities. Nevertheless, because it possesses actuators, it can pull one of its legs out to the side and use its hands to maintain this posture so that it may continue walking. The movie demonstrates that the robots are capable of performing a wide variety of other tasks, including twisting at the waist, picking up boxes, and holding a watering can for plants. These characteristics have been demonstrated to be within the robot's capabilities. Elon Musk's goal is to make the robot available for purchase at a price that is lower than $20,000 per individual unit. The second Optimus Prime prototype weighs 161 pounds, giving it a total mass of 161 pounds. It utilizes an improved version of the computer hardware that plays the role of the primary component of Tesla's FSD technology, which is implemented in the firm's autonomous vehicles. The company employs this technology. It comes with a rechargeable battery pack with a capacity of 2.3 kilowatt hours and may be used several times. When it is just sitting there doing nothing, it uses about 100 watts of power. But when I am walking quickly, it uses about 500 watts. That's on par with high-powered desktop machine designed for just gaming. The first robot walked in a passive, shuffling way with each foot landing exactly in the front of foot that had landed just in front of it. But there was only one thing that embarrassed the Tesla company. Keep watching to find out. The robot knees were bent, which caused it to walk awkwardly, yet robots frequently choose to walk in this manner since maintaining a straight leg stance demands significantly more developed balance abilities than maintaining a bent leg stance. The robot had a degree of movement thanks to its ability to rotate and bend at the waist. This allowed it to move in some directions. Its entire body was lit up by green LEDs, and its chest contained a huge computer with two circulating fans to keep the internal components cool and prevent them from overheating. Musk claimed that despite the wonderful nature of those other robots, they are unable to make their judgments, are extremely expensive, and are only created in extremely small quantities. In addition to this, he asserts that the production of the other types of robots is restricted to extremely limited amounts. In addition to this, he claims that there is a limit to the number of robots that they are permitted to produce. Engineers working with Tesla place a significant amount of importance on the degrees of freedom that are contained within the Optimus robots. This degrees of freedom refer to the many joints on the robot that allow it to bend or twist in different ways. According to Tesla, the robot's entire body has more than 28 degrees of flexibility while each hand has 11 degrees of freedom individually. The capacity to halt the robots will be granted to humans via the utilization of an external mechanism that will be incorporated into the machines. For reasons having to do with security, however, this override mechanisms will not be able to receive updates via the internet. The AI software that Tesla uses to power its autos is also used to power the Tesla bot. It uses some of the same technology to achieve this goal, such as counting the number of individuals in the areas immediately surrounding it. The only notable difference is that it is trained with data from the actual world, as opposed to driving movies, and this is how it competes with other systems. Musk did not draw any punches or hold back when making science fiction claims about Tesla's robots. A new era in economics will begin when robots are put to work. This future will be one of plenty. A future in which there will be no poverty and a future in which you will be able to have anything you want in terms of goods and services that are available to you. When robots are put to work, a new economic era will begin. In the future that we are describing, there will be plenty of resources. Do you ever wonder why so many robots are represented as female? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's engage! Also, please leave a like and subscribe for 
more exciting technology videos. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And don't forget to watch more related content from our channel being shown on the screen.